Thanks, Maddie. Well, today was the warmest day of 2023 so far. And if it wasn't warm enough for you, just hang on. Right, Mike? <laughs> right so far are the magic words here because it's going to get warmer. In fact, not only will it get into the 70s, possibly some low 80s in spots. I'll tell you more about that in a moment, but let's start where we keep the record. SeaTac for the first time in a long time. I'm able to say the words above average. 62 is the 30 year average for today's date. 67 is what we achieved. And again, to put that into perspective, the high temperature last Thursday was 47. So yeah, things are moving in the right direction. No rain in the gauges today and that sunset at 814 had a little bit of cloud cover. We're going to fix that. Taking a look at high temperatures across the region today, really mixed. So we did see a lot of that cloud cover and even some rain up towards our northern counties. So upper 50s, lower 60s there. Then way down south, Olympia and Chehalis hitting some mid 70s. We'll call 73 mid 70s. And if you think that's something, Ellensburg was one degree shy of hitting 80 today. So let's get rid of that cloud cover. How do we do it? Well, we build high pressure along the coast and that's exactly what's happening. So it's not going to be perfect. We'll get a little bit of mid level cloud cover that could kind of obscure some of our sunsets, but still tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, it's going to be fantastic. Now here's the fly in the ointment. This next system moves in here. Pretty powerful low pressure system. It's going to go up and over that ridge of high pressure and bring temperatures back down again. So the warm days will be Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Then what we're expecting is those temperatures to bounce 10 to 20 degrees above average. So remember, we just saw the 30 year average is about 61, 62 degrees. That means we could be looking at some low 80s. I'll tell you where in just a moment. Now there will be some abrupt cooling on Sunday, but it looks like in general we have finally broken this cool pattern. Now even though air temperatures are going up, water temperatures are not. Remember Puget Sound, Lake Washington, they're all in the upper 40s and lower 50s. So if you get warm and you get that urge to jump in the water, make sure you're wearing a life jacket. Rivers are still very, very cold out there. All right, I'll come off the soapbox and tell you what's happening with the high pressure. It comes up the coast. The ridge was going to move right over top of Oregon. So you see the yellows and the oranges and warm colors. That's what we're going to inherit as we go into the weekend. Now what happens afterwards is that low comes over top of it and it's going to kind of shove that away from us again. Putting future cast into motion here. It's been a long time since I had nothing to show you, but that's what's going to happen. I'm not tracking any rain potential at all. Now, as far as the wind goes, something interesting happens as that ridge of high pressure builds. We're going to see some light offshore flow. What that means is some of the communities immediately west of the Cascades could be the places that we see 80 degree temperatures come Friday and possibly Saturday. Seven day forecast shows some really good looking stuff, especially on Friday and Saturday. We're going to cool it down again on Sunday, but again, it looks like that pattern has been broken. We're waiting for another 70 on Wednesday.